Hey Archery Talk, this is Lucas, and today I'm going to give you my long-term review of the Specialty Archery Double Vision System. This is a setup designed specifically for indoor archery. You can, I suppose, use it for like a single spot 50 meter round or anything like that if you wanted to, but I, it really is designed and suited for indoor archery specifically. Um, if you don't know what the double vision system is, it basically lets you eliminate using a pin or a sticker dot on your lens, and instead it gives you like a it basically puts a little hole in your lens, more or less, uh, and that's what you're focusing on specifically. So in this case, I've got my 6X lens in, uh, in my scope, in this case, especially archery versus scope, which you'll need to use the double vision system. Um, and, in its, and inside, additionally, I have, a, I have a little lens like this with a hole in it. Um, and basically, the sides of this lens are kind of negative um, magnification. So I have a 6x lens in here, so the everything you see red on this lens is minus 6. So what I'm seeing through the, and all I'm seeing is magnified is through that little hole right there. Uh, so everything else in here is non-magnified now, and I'm just looking at the at the target. And uh, there's a couple different sizes uh, of these things you can get. I believe there's a, the smallest one is 0.2, I'll check my notes here, 0.25 inches, then there's 0.312 inches, and there's 0.375 inches. I'm personally kind of going between the small and the medium size, uh, and right now I've got the small in there, it's the blue. Uh, there's four colors, there's amber, there's blue, there is uh, red, and there's smoke. Well, smoke is like a gray color. It's the blue and the smoke I'm usually using for like a three spot kind of, a three spot target, where you get the yellow in the middle and the red uh, just outside of that. If I'm using an NFAA target, I'll usually shoot a red one. Um, just so I, cause I can't see the blue very well when I'm shooting the NFA target with that kind of blue gray face. So that's just me. Um, installing this, I'll tell you how to do that is super easy. Uh, if you've got the VersaScope, uh, which I've got here. So basically you just have to eliminate this, this ring out here, and then you pop in your double vision, uh, kind of whole lens and then screw that back in and then you're good to go and start shooting. Um, I've got mine set up right now. So I am, it's just the exact size of the yellow, so the, the whole big nine ring on a, on a Vegas face or a Fita face. Um, I, if, if I use the, that's using the smaller one. And I'm using the smaller one, I've got, the, I've got my sight bar in about two spots. I'm here instead of out to here, which is my normal spot. If I'm shooting the medium, I'm shooting out far away, and then I've got a little bit of a ring of red, just the smallest ring of red around the yellow. So I'm just deciding which of those two I like better right now. Uh, I'm still experimenting. I've been shooting these for a while now, all a lot of last year, and then I just started again this year. Uh, I don't know, maybe a week ago, more or less. Um, so that's that's it. So that's the setup I've been using. So the reason I made the switch to the double vision system for indoor is because I have a tendency uh, to miss low. I've posted a bunch of shots on the Archery Talk Facebook page. Uh, kind of you can see where my troubles have been and it's six that six o'clock miss is my most common by far and it's to the, it got to the point where i was just trying to miss anywhere but low um and i was still having trouble not doing that the double vision system has a uh, has basically i wouldn't say limited my low misses but it's uh it's made them really uncommon and you know no more no more common than any other kind of miss i was having um i wish i could tell you my scores have gotten better uh, they've really stayed about the same. I'm just not missing those low shots anymore. Those low nines are not really happening. Uh, my, unfortunately, I've replaced them with some with some left misses and a couple of rights, but mostly left uh, for some reason. So I've still clearly got a lot of work to do, and uh, I think what we've learned here is I can find a way to miss on an indoor target quite easily if I put my mind to it. I'm trying to fix it. I am still chasing that 300 Vegas round. Uh, Again, I've hit 299 twice in my life and a bunch of 298s to 297s, and my average is in that low to mid 290s if I'm going well. But I still have a lot of work to do, and hopefully this system will help kind of get me over the hump. And at least it's stopping the low misses, which is taking a bunch of the frustration I was having out of indoor archery. I found indoor archery always to be the most frustrating uh, thing to shoot as far as uh, tournament rounds go and things like that. I like shooting 3D and field archery so much more than indoor, but I know I need to shoot better indoor because it will help me get better everywhere else. I've just got some mental blocks that make me, you know, well, I'm using that dot, which I've always used in the past to, to drop low. So I'm trying this out and uh, hopefully it'll, you know, I'm, so far it's working really well. Uh, I just need to get this, the, those left misses now to stop happening. Um, if you're looking to find out some more about this, I think you can go visit Specialty Arch, just A-R-C-H dot com. They've got all sorts of information. They sell those specialty archery double vision systems, you know, at pretty much most retailers. You can get them at Lancaster Archery and 
wherever else you're uh, you're shopping online or even your local pro shops uh, should have it. Anyone who stocks specialty archery peeps should have these uh, available to them. Uh, and that's about it for now. Archery talk. It's a uh, again. It's 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 taken some stress out of my indoor shooting, which right now is a victory. Although I still need to improve the scoring, and that's really kind of be on the guy pulling the string. Um, so thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe. It really does help the channel a lot, and we'll see you again soon.